Hello, I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com. I'm here at the Brighton Comic Con, and I'm here to interview the original diva, Sunny. So, Sunny, you're known as the original diva. Yes. Um, what do you think of the current uh, state of, of women's wrestling, um, like with the Divas Revolution trademark? Honestly, I don't watch wrestling. Oh, really? Okay. I can't comment on the Divas Revolution or Raw or anything of the matter because I don't watch it. I barely even watched it when I was there. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, I do it for a living, and I'm in the business, but I just... I, I'm not a fan to watch it, you know what I mean? So I really don't have an opinion because I, I couldn't even tell you what girls were there. You managed so many teams in your time and inevitably turned on all of them. Were there any that were a particular joy to work with or any were that were quite harder to work with? Well, the Body Donnas, of course, were awesome. It was my first team and, of course, it was my boyfriend, yeah. you know, so it was great, you know, working with him and we had a lot of fun and that's where I really got to be the heel that I love to be. You know, I'd much rather be a heel than a baby face because a heel gets to do more as a manager. You get to interfere, you get to, you know, be evil and I love to be evil. But um, working with Legion of Doom was just crazy, amazing. When they told me I was going to work with them, I was like, no, really? I became like a little kid. I was like, oh, this is going to be so much fun. But, you know, when we walked down that ramp and that aisle, with them and that music plays and you feel the electricity of the crowd it's just like wow it's really that cool. Wrestlemania moment with them is that one of the highlights of your career um there are a lot of highlights I mean working with them was a highlight of course but it's not I wouldn't say it's one of the biggest highlights I mean there there have been many like a lot of people think that you know I hated being slopped by the god ones I loved it <laughs> it was first of all it was so much fun I mean, I'm a heel, and it was my little chance to get revenge on the crowd, too, because as soon as the slop would hit me, I would grab handfuls of it and throw it at the people. <laughs> you know, so my little bit of revenge, and I got to make my own slop, so it was just leftover catering salad and water <laughs> and whatever, you know, I could find. But um, it was fun because, I mean, we did it, like, on the road every day for, I got, like, like, three months. But um, I loved it because, if you think about it, at that time, you couldn't turn on Raw without see seeing it replayed and replayed and replayed. So I got so much extra TV time. And I got a cover out of it. Exactly. Cover of the magazine. So how can you hate it when you get so much publicity from it? And it was fun. It really was. Uh, what were some of your cherished moments from uh, from your career? Like what uh, kind of is at the top of the top of the list? Of course, it has to be. <laughs> Not many people in the world have a WWE Hall of Fame ring, so that that's a pinnacle of my career. Absolutely. I mean that rest, uh, 20, 2011, 2011, of course. Uh, and that whole WrestleMania experience was that just a blast? Everyone like take care of you. You know, it was it was it was really really intense. Um, they told me three, uh, two and a half to three months prior that I was going to be inducted, and I was like crying and trying to think of every excuse and tell, trying to convince them not to induct me. I was like, don't you think it's too soon? Don't you think I have more to do? They were like, no, the time is now. <laughs> I was um, what, 38 at the time. Um, at the time, I would only be the fifth woman ever inducted and the youngest inductee ever at the time. I was the youngest. I was inducted. So um, it was just wild and. <clears throat> When they told me about it, um, they said, you can't tell anybody until we announce it on Raw. I was like, okay, no problem. So I'm thinking of maybe a week or so. They made me wait three months before they aired it. And I was oh, just wow. like, so here I am, want to let it at the cat out of the bag. And I'm like going crazy. I'm watching Raw every week. And I'm like, not again. When are they going to announce this so I can talk about it? But when they finally did, um, they told me when it was going to be announced. So um, my boyfriend and I, well, my ex at the now, but, and a bunch of our friends, we went out to a restaurant where they have it on the big screens and everything like that. And it was just like, I'm starting to tear up thinking about it because I was crying like a baby when they did the announcement. It was really, really wild. And like the package they put together for me for the announcement oh, was just, it, I, I was watching it. I was like, that was such a great package. I'm like, it almost looked like a memorial. I'm like, I died. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it could have gone either way. That's the thing. The, the video kind of editing department, they just make it look like everyone look amazing and it, yeah, can... it was it was a really wild experience and probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was give my Hall of Fame speech like you can get me on a microphone and I can ramble on for 15 minutes of sunny off the top of my head total ad lib you know about a, a match or whatever we're doing but I had to go out there and talk as myself and, and worst part of all you had to be a face yeah you know, so um, I just I just wrote my my speech and I just told my story. And then when I went up there on stage, I didn't even um, have it on cue cards. I actually, when I walked out there, I co totally went blank and forgot it. Like before that, I, I memorized it word for word the whole thing. As soon as I walked out on stage, I went blank. I couldn't even remember how to start it. Wow. So I took a deep breath and I'm like, tell your story, tell your story. And I just started talking and that ended up being my speech and it was awesome. Um, yeah, and well, at the end of the night, um, afterwards, even Linda McMahon came to me and hugged me. She said, you had the best speech of the night. <laughs> and if Linda McMahon says that, you did something right. Because she doesn't right. give compliments that easy. <laughs> but um, the whole weekend was just surreal because the next day we had WrestleMania and I just had to go out and wave. But then the WrestleMania party after that, the post-WrestleMania party, 
Let me tell you, I was walking around like it was my party. <laughs> it wasn't anybody else's party. It was for me. Hey, when so, you're in the Hall of Fame, it is your party. I know, but it, there were others in the Hall of Fame, but no, it wasn't their party. It was no, all no, mine. No, no, no. So, you know, I'm taking Sean who? Yeah. What? Who? <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Um, but that was another wild thing, though, because, I mean, back in 96 and 97, Sean and I dated for nine months. Ah, uh, yes. So we had we did have a relationship. It was pretty serious. Um, so when I was inducted the same year with him, it was kind of, like, ironic. Yeah. You know, kind of, like, a little strange, but awesome. But um, and if you look um, at some of the pictures that we have, group pictures after the induction, it's me, him standing facing me, and then all the other guys after him. It looked like a, like a wedding party or something <laughs> like that. It was just it was just a little surreal, but um, it was it was a great weekend. But then the next morning, I woke up. I'm like, did all this really happen? It just seems like a blur and totally surreal. And I'm like. Wait, yeah, it yeah, happened. Yeah. That's the proof. You've been a part of so many promotions, ECW, Everything. WCW. Yeah. Uh, is uh, is WWE still the one you feel of as home, or is it a different promotion? Well, I mean, every everywhere I've worked has had its good and bad, of course. But um, the one I enjoyed the most, of course, was WWE. I got to do the most. I mean, that's where I had all my publicity. In 1996, I was the most downloaded celebrity in America online. Was, yeah. um, that that got to that that put me um, on like all the Hollywood gossip shows in the states. Was, Extra yeah. Access Hollywood. Inside Edition, Entertainment Tonight, you name it. I was on MTV twice because of it. So it got me a lot of mainstream media. And prior to that, the only person from the wrestling business that ever hit any mainstream media was Hulk Hogan. And then I was number two, so the first woman. And like now, it's all mainstream. Of course, yeah. They're in mainstream magazines. They're in mainstream TV. But back then, it was unheard of because wrestling was its own little thing. But so to be able to be the, only the second person in history to hit all this mainstream media was really, really wild. I mean, you paved the way for so many, like Sable and, and all the other divas to, to follow. I mean, do any people like come up to you and ask for their advice and like, or like managerial advice or being a ballet or? Well, a lot of people ask me, how to, can you give me tips of how to get in the business? I'm like, no, I can't because I never tried. It all came to me. It fell into my lap. My first job in Smoky Mountain Wrestling fell in my lap. And out of that, out of the blue, I was called by the WWE to, to work there. So I never, like a lot of people like try and send out pictures and, you know, their DVDs and whatever of their work trying to get work. I never had to do that. Every job I've ever had came to me. ECW came to me. WCW came to me. I've worked in Japan. They came to me. I worked in Puerto Rico. They came to me. It's just like <laughs> I never had to try to get a job for 26 years now. You know, everything just comes to me, and I'm really lucky for that. So, yeah, a lot of people, guys and girls, like on independent scenes, can you give me, can you help me? How do I get into the business? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Can't help you with that. Amazing. But, yeah. Well, you've helped us out with an interview. Thank you so much Anytime. for talking to us. Really appreciate it. I'm Adam from morecultureday.com, and we'll see you soon.